It feels like it's alive. It is, is I think that's what Cobb feels like, is like it's actually alive. It is, I think. And, uh, and certainly in, a term, in the way it processes moisture and, um, yeah, and, uh, there's cracks and um, wear and tear uh, that makes it. Well, another way to put, to put that is uh, these buildings show age really beautifully. Like, uh, um, I think that's the other reason why people are turned off from conventional buildings is because once they start to age, they become really unattractive. It's difficult for people to understand. I did a job yesterday at, uh, at a friend's house, and um, his big question was, will this crack once it's all done or so? And I said, yes, it will. It's going to look amazing. <laughs> it's going to look amazing, yeah. But it's um, because we, we are now, um, you know, whatever, five or six generations into living with manufactured materials or almost exclusively. Uh, we're not used to the other side anymore, so it takes a little bit of a, st of a step. Uh, interestingly enough, most uh, uh, religious creation stories have clay in it mm -hmm. as a way of how humans came about, or animals, or you know, Native American stories, or the Bible, you know, where Adam means Earth. And so, um, so I think there's like a deep connection that we have in our DNA to clay. That I think for a lot of people it doesn't occur to them to want something different. Uh -huh. I mean, and I would almost say that about myself when my husband wanted to move down here and kind of change the way we were living our lives and what we were doing. I was like, why? I'm happy, like my family's here, you've got a job, I've got a job, we've got our little house, like, yeah. you know, why would we want anything different? And so it's it's been a, a struggle for me in the sense that I never thought to want anything different. Mm. And so, but now that we've made those changes, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, yeah. And, and we were actually recently given the opportunity to move back to where we were, to that area, kind of to that same lifestyle. And I told Robert, I, I said, I wouldn't go back. Yeah. I wouldn't go back to the way we were doing things before. So. Yeah. Good, good for you. Yeah. I mean, so stay healthy, stay out of debt. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the, that's a short answer, <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, you guys have any other? There's a in the early Cobb days they suggested that we would put the windows in and cob around it as we go. Mm -hmm. So I've seen a lot of Cobb buildings with cracks mm -hmm. in the windows mm -hmm. because of that, because it just sort of the, these buildings they. You know, like an eight foot wall will settle as much as two inches mm. from wet to dry. So that's a bit, that's a lot. So you have to account for that. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. And I do that's the awesome. same with existing, with uh, openable windows. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I put like a, uh, keep the opening, uh, held by a frame, like out of two by six or something. Mm -hmm. Kind of simulate the conventional building world. Sure. Build the whole thing and then put the windows in at the end. And again, some people have put in openable windows just by carving around them and they all crack. Okay, <laughs> well, so that's what I was yeah. curious because at some point we want to build a, a cop structure on our, on our yeah. property that we have, like like a mother-in-law cottage or something along those lines. Yeah. And it would be an experiment. And so the more tips I can pick up like that, like how do we do this, how do we do this? Yeah. You know, or, or we'll, so, be, we'll be good. Maybe we can go to the main house and I'll talk about my book. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. Uh, and then I, I give you a copy and then, uh, yeah. It's bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> they all do. Yeah. Because they fit in well. They feel spacious on the inside. Yeah. Some coffee or tea or something? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, Julie had, two, had some coffee yesterday. And <laughs> it almost killed me. Coffee <laughs> <laughs> well, like the that I talk about, that's really what it's all about. It's not about the materials or the. It's a different 
you know, it's an outlook on life uh, or changing the whole paradigm of the, our self-destructive mm -hmm. lifestyles. Well, it's well, what we really have to do. And where we've come was, was from a very traditional, you work, you know, a, a very traditional, quote unquote, American yeah. household and lifestyle. And yeah. so we've kind of started on this simplification journey. Okay, we don't need as big of a house. Okay, we don't need, you know, as much things in our life, you know, that are yeah. just cost money to, to do. So we're still at the beginning stages of, of yeah. this journey, but uh, Cobb has fascinated me, you know, to be able to build something just from the ground, you know, yeah. absolutely fascinates I, me. Whatever you do, raise a family, yeah. but that you look for a paradigm shift yeah. that, um, where we can get off the, this train wreck, mm -hmm. basically, yeah. you yeah. know. And that's one thing we've been looking forward to is getting a big garden, uh, growing our own food, canning our own food, so that we're not so reliant on you know all everything that goes into uh, you know bringing stuff to a store, yeah. chemicals, all those things. You know, we're trying right. to start to make that shift away. Yeah. But it, I'm a slow I'm a slow learner. It's been a slow process. Uh, we're kind of dipping well, our toes not, in. Oh, so am I. <laughs> so so am I. <laughs> it, it's uh, two by four framing on two foot center. Okay. Infilled with straw bales. Okay. And then finished with an earthen plaster and cop interior walls and a cop floor. Each unit. It's not that hard. I mean people learn it in a in a matter of a couple of days and mm -hmm. uh, then go do it themselves. Each time I do something I do it a little differently. But there's some things that just sort of crystallize out that I think, okay, this is just really the way it should be done. And so after 15 years, I've been, I've just started to write these things down in a book called House of Earth. Sometimes I feel like, uh, I almost start to giggle and I'm thinking, I know some kind of a secret that should be out, but nobody knows about it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's a crazy, it's so crazy good. So I kind of got remotivated again and that's how the book came about. And that's, that's how, why I'm still teaching workshops and that's why I'm now moving towards uh, like really focusing on earth and construction and uh, met a little the first terra introducing the term first terra and um, and also doing the reverse development and then the redevelopment in the, in the poor countries 